Happening now, Dustin Diamond still in jail this afternoon after being taken into custody for a parole violation. Our Pete Cervakis has been working all morning to try and find out some more information about what exactly Diamond did to land back in jail. Pete, so far, nobody's talking. Bridget, that's right. Very tight lipped so far out here in Ozaki County. What we can tell you that we do know is that Dustin Diamond remains in the jail behind me on a probation violation. What we have not been able to find out is what exactly that probation violation was. What we can say is that according to the sheriff's office, Diamond was taken into custody by Sockville police, then booked into the jail here just before 3 p.m. yesterday afternoon. There is a Department of Corrections facility where a probation or parole our, our agent would be working from in Sockville. Now, Diamond was originally released last month after serving a three-month sentence for stabbing a man at a bar in Port Washington. Last week, he left the state to do an interview with former fellow Saved by the Bell cast member Mario Lopez about his time behind bars. No one today has been willing to tell us if that was the probation violation in question. Officials at the jail say it's now up to Diamond's probation agent to decide how long he will be here, when he'll be released. That agent, of course, with the State Department of Corrections. We got no information out of a DOC spokesperson today about what specifically the probation violation was or how long Diamond might be held here. Live in Port Washington, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4. All right, Pete, do you have any information about what the conditions of Diamond's probation were so we can maybe surmise what the violation was? Bridget, we do. We actually reviewed some of the court documents from the sentencing and the conviction. Uh, same document inside. We can tell you that the probation condition, conditions listed are that he maintain absolute sobriety, that Diamond have no contact with either the victim or the bar where that stabbing occurred, and also that he pay supervision fees. There's nothing in there listed specifically about travel. I can tell you that the documents do indicate both sides did have an expectation that he would be traveling for his job as an actor. What we don't know, of course, is in traveling to do that interview with Mario Lopez if there was some type of uh, approval from the parole agent that was not given. All right, Pete, thanks so much. We appreciate you staying on that story for us.